Welcome, Brother Arad coming to you with another GMS on the go. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akims out there pushing the truth to the best of their ability, regardless of whom here forbears. The title of this lesson is Cry Aloud, Spare Not. First scripture I want to get out is Isaiah 58 and 1, which reads, Cry aloud, spare not. We're not here to spare any feelings, all right? When we're on the highways and byways pushing the truth, we're, through it, we're doing it through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And also the instructions that the Lord gave us, all right? It reads on, lift up my voice like a trumpet. Salaki, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's right, when you hear a trumpet blows, a trumpet is a pretty loud instrument. All right, and we're lifting up our voices loud because the Lord told us to. All right? And show my people their transgression. That word my is possessive. And the people that the Lord is talking about is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That word transgression goes back to um, acting against. All right? <clears throat> and it reads on. And the house of Jacob, again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, their sins. All right? Let's see what sin is according to the Bible. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, committed sin transgresseth also the law, meaning you're going against the law. And it reads on, for sin is the transgression of the law, it means you're breaking the law. And how are you breaking the law? Some examples are eating abominable foods. The Lord told us not to eat um, pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, liver, all right? But our people continue to eat that, thinking it's a, uh, a, um, a high-class type of meal. When the Lord's telling you not to eat it because they're bottom feeders. They weren't put on the earth to, to be eaten. All right? Also, um, sleeping with the next man's woman. That's a sin. All right? You know? Worshiping these pagan holidays. You know, we just had Halloween pass by. Jake was going all out for Halloween. That's a pagan holiday. That word pagan goes back to heathen. All right? Celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know? Valentine's Day, all those things are um, against, um, you know, what the, what the Most High required of us, all right? It's breaking the law, you know, worshiping these pagan gods that have no power, you know, like Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, all right, Jesus Christ, all right, which is really Cesare Borgia, all right? So I'm going to read from the top, 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And the law was only presented to you um, biblical hip, uh, Israelites. All right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans were the only ones who took the oath with the Most High. All right? No other nations were present. All right? And that's why you're the only one that can break the law. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, Isaiah 58 and 1, which reads, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. All right? Next scripture I want to bring out is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Which reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right. The Lord is uh, raising up his men, the servants of the Lord, to be a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right. Not these other nations. Not you doodle eating Africans. All right. Not the so-called white man. All right. Not um, you dothead East Indians. Not you Chinese or Japanese. But only Watchmen for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the house of Israel. All right? And what does a watchman do? A watchman sits in the tower and looks on for, um, looks out for uh, oncoming enemies. All right? 
we know um, the Most High controls all things, good and evil. All right, so we're trying to be watchmen until the house of Israel let you know that Lord, if you don't get right, the Lord is going to destroy you. All right, whether judgment, all right, from um, uh, using a, a sword or a killing instrument or um, ICBM missiles or Lord Yahweh, who you eagerly call Jesus, coming back with chariots of fire to destroy America. All right, according to the Bible, the Lord is going to send his only begotten son to destroy um, this land called America, a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Lord is sending his servants, the Lord, all right, to be a watchman unto the house of Israel to warn you from destruction, judgment, all right? And it reads on, therefore, hear the word at my mouth. We'll read out of the Bible, all right? We're reading through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? So we're the mouthpieces of the Lord, all right? The Lord's not going to come from, from, from heaven to speak to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? He's sending his men to do it, all right? He's raising up his men to speak to you according to the Bible. And it reads on, and give them warning from me. All right. Why does the Lord want you to give, wants us to give um, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans warning from him? Let's see why. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. All right. That word evil goes back to ill times. I, the Lord, do all these things. So when you see you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans getting shot down, all right, hands up, don't shoot, all right, <clears throat> first one's fired, last one's hired, you know, starving, you know, going through a lot of hardships. Remember, the Lord is doing all things, all right, not anyone else. The Lord controls the left side and the right side. All right. And so that's why the Lord is sending us to be watchmen into the house of Israel to protect you or, or to warn you. All right. From what he could do to you. All right. And what he will do to you if you continue to be wicked. And how are you being wicked? By sinning. All right. Not keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. All right. So I'm going to read from the top again, Isaiah 45 and 7. I formed the light. And I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all those things. So, and that's why, and that's important to know because you so-called um, these so-called pastors in these Christian churches are telling you that the Lord God is all, um, all love. The Lord is all love. Well, it's evident that the Lord is creating peace and evil, darkness and light. All right. There's a balance. The Lord is not all love. All right. Next scripture I want to bring out is Ezekiel uh, 33 and 4, which reads, Then whosoever, again, going back to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, heareth the sound of the trumpet. Remember, the trumpet is the voice of the Lord's watchman. All right? It's on the highways and byways, raising their voice, trying to reach out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And take, if not warning... That's right. If you hear us and you're not hearkening to the truth, you're like, oh, there those Hebrew Israelite guys go again. All right. With the same old nonsense. All right. If you don't want to hearken and you keep moving on. Let's see what's going to happen. And take if not warning, if the sword come, sword, according to the Bible, is any killing instrument. All right. And take him away. The Lord uses a, um, a sword or any killing instrument, all right, send an evil spirit to take you away. His blood shall be upon his own head. So if you're hearing the words, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, and you don't want to hearken to it, and you walk by us on the highways and byways, and don't want to take heed to these scriptures that are written for your learning, that it's going to give you life, all right, and you just um, continue to move on, ignore us, don't want to take um, heed, all right. Or you're hearing, but you don't want to be doers of the word and you want to move on and continue on with your wicked life, sinning and breaking the um, breaking the law. Then the blood is going to be upon your hand when the Lord takes you out 
All right. Verse five. He heard the, the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So if you take warning, all right, and um, hearken to the, the scriptures and come back to the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability, repent, meaning um, turn away from and hearken to the statute laws and com um, commandments to the best of your ability, then the Lord will deliver your soul. All right. Verse six. But if the watchman, all right, that's the service of the Lord on the highways and byways. See the sword come, all right, and blow not the trumpet. So we ain't out on the highways and byways, week in, week out, in season, out of season, pushing this true, all right? <clears throat> and we know the sword is coming. We know death and destruction is coming. And we're not letting you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know. Let's see what's going to happen. And the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person um. From among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, all right? But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. That's right. So for the brothers on the highways and byways, pushing the truth to the best of their ability, the Lord is saying, hey, we got to go out there and um, continue to push the truth to the best of our ability, all right? Until the end, all right? Because if we're not out there, and any one of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, don't get the truth, all right? Um, walking past an area that we were supposed to be at and you don't hear the truth and you could have heard it and you probably would have hearkened to it and something happens to you, then the watchmen are responsible and the blood is on our hands. We have to answer to the Most High for that, all right? So there's a responsibility um, on, uh, with both parties, all right? The watchman is responsible for uh, doing the job that the Most High put on the Spirit for, for him to do, all right? And then um, on the other side, you got the people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you got you got to hearken to the truth. We know two thirds of you are not. All right, so the blood is not going to be on our hands as we continue to push um, the, the the truth to the best of our ability across the four corners of the earth. All right, because we we know um, the power of um, the the Lord we serve. All right, the God of the Bible controls all things. All right. And we don't want to um, experience harsh judgment, all right, because we didn't keep up um, with the job that the Lord gave us, the assignment the Lord gave us to do. So I'm going to read that part from the top. Verse 6, but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right? Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. And that goes back to Ezekiel uh, 3 and 17. All right? We are the mouthpieces of the Most High. We're speaking according to the Bible. The Lord is putting on our spirit, starting with the apostles and elders on down, the priestess truth. And be the mouthpieces of um, the Most High. Again, the Most High is not going to come down from the heaven, from heaven, um, to talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. And it reads on, and warn them from me. And of course, as I said before, Isaiah forty-five and seven, that warning is destruction, judgment. All right. So I hope you brothers and sisters been edified. Before I close out, I want to give all praise and honor and glory. To the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akims out there, pushing the truth to the best of your ability, regardless of whom here or forbears. Keep pushing. Shalom.